Now we have dissected the area of the forearm and uh, layers by layer. So we are going to show you today major structures that we can see. Here we this following the biceps muscle is a flat aponeurosis that goes into the superficial fascia. It helps in the supination of the forearm too. Now when we reflect it and keep it upside, we can see some boundary of the muscles. The muscle on the lateral side is brachioradialis and on the medial side is pronator teres. This is the humeral head of the pronator teres. Now if we reflect it, the brachioradialis, underneath we can see a tendon, the tendon of extensor carpi radialis longus. If you carefully observe, there is one nerve which runs between the Extensor, carp yeah, extensor carpa radialis longus and brachioradialis. This is the superficial branch of the radial nerve, which we can trace downwards that supplies the dorsum of the hand on the lateral fingers. Now, if we trace upwards the superficial branch of the radial nerve, we can see the radial nerve coming from the posterior compartment of the arm and if we reflect extensor carpi radialis longus we can see the extensor carpi radialis brevis and supinator muscle this supinator muscle is pierced by the deep branch of the radial nerve medial to it we can see bicipital tendon and radial artery. Now coming to the forearm muscles, the superficial one is the pronator teres. Next to it medially we have flexor carpi radialis which has already been cut here to reveal the structures beneath. Now if we reflect the medial and the lateral part of the pronator teres this is the ulnar head and the humeral head of the pronator teres between which median nerve is present. So there is a syndrome called pronator teres syndrome where median nerve can be compressed and gives the features of median nerve injury. So if we reflect the flexor carpi radialis, we can see a muscle, big muscle, that is flexor digiterum superficialis. Now its attachment to the radius has already been cut so we can reflect flexor digiterum superficialis so that we can follow the course of the median nerve which supplies this muscle and the muscle below it. There are two muscles which you can see here is flexor pollicis longus which is supplied by the branch of the median nerve and two half of flexor digitorum profundus. If you reflect the profundus, then you can see a quadratus muscle in shape known as pronator quadratus. This is supplied by the branch of the median nerve and you can see, visualize the artery, small twig, anterior interosseous artery the branch of the common interosseous artery from the radial and the ulnar nerve.